I'm Lisa and today I wanted to talk about Vizcaya in Miami, Florida. Um, so about a year ago uh, we took three of our children down to the Florida Keys and we had a scuba diving trip. Um, that'll be another video. <laughs> but on the way back we did stop in Miami at Vizcaya and it was just such an amazing place. So I was hoping to just, you know, kind of talk about it, like a little overview and show you some of our pictures here and here <laughs> from uh, when we were there. It was really, really beautiful. Um, it was one of those experiences that I just really highly recommend, especially if you love um, history, architecture, old houses, you know, beautiful gardens the ocean. It's just an amazing, amazing place. So basically, um, this Chaya, let's see. So they're open from Wednesdays through Mondays every week from 9.30 to 4.30. Uh, it is $25 per adult to get in, $10 for kids that are 6 to 12. It is free for military and anybody with a disability, so that's kind of cool. And uh, basically, this kind of was built in 1916 as a vacation home by the affluent businessman James Deering. Uh, in 1953, they converted it into a museum, and that's when it opened to the general public. So a few just kind of interesting things. There's a few famous people that have visited over the years, you know, like Ronald Reagan, Pope John Paul II, Queen Elizabeth II uh, visited in 1991. So just kind of some neat bits of history. And there's a lot of history throughout the house. I mean, well, the estate. <laughs> it is absolutely stunning. Uh, there are circular staircases and walls and ceilings of, you know, just beautiful paintings and really, really, really jaw-dropping, just amazing architecture. Uh, it's real open in the middle and then it has like all these staircases that go up on different sides and just more rooms than I can even count. It's just absolutely stunning. Um, so, oh, they do have a little cafe, which is really cool. So when you go out the back of the estate and you go off to the left, you can like go out, uh, kind of out towards the water on there, but tucked underneath by the pool, this amazing, amazing partial indoor, partial outdoor pool, uh, they have a little cafe. It's really cute. Uh, they have glasses of wine that you can walk around with. I do recommend the sparkling Moscato. That was delicious. <laughs> they have like cakes and um, treats and things to eat. Really, really cute little place. So my son actually had the lavender lemon cake. That was one of the best cakes I have ever tasted. It was outstanding. So I highly recommend that one. They also have like an orchid garden and pretty much every different spot on this property are just themed totally different and it's just absolutely incredible to walk around. Uh, it was very, very hot when we were there. There was actually a wedding that they were setting up for, so it was really neat. They were bringing these giant chandeliers and setting up this huge outdoor area and hanging chandeliers and um, all the guests were arriving later in the day as the museum was closing and that was kind of neat. So they do rent for, you know, weddings and just big receptions, things like that. Um, it really just is one of those places that I don't think I'll ever forget and I definitely highly, highly recommend if you're going to Miami for any reason or going to the Florida Keys, I would recommend stop at Vizcaya. I do not think you're going to be disappointed. Uh, my kids even found it just really amazing and they were, let's see, 17, 19, and 20, 30 at the time when they went. So it really is just a beautiful place for all ages to explore and just kind of look around and just really cool. <laughs>